Hey, what's up YouTube? What's up everyone? Peace. So, man, what am I doing right now? Knocking down some calculus. Yeah, I'm taking calculus this semester and um, right now we're on, what are we on right now? We're on logarithmic functions and exponential functions and, you know, manipulating the graphs and finding information from the graphs, rates, things of that sort and it is kicking my butt it's kicking my butt I am not I, I feel like this is this is those are like log functions and exponential functions not really exponentials but using log logarithms I remember seeing those things like crazy in high school had no idea what they were used for now I see what they're used for I'm like okay I see that you know if if Let's see, um, I can't think from the top of my head. Um, shoot, yeah, let's say you have something, let's say you have radioactive decay, you know? Like, that stuff, like, if you think about x-rays, and, and, like, the whole functioning of x-rays and the whole practice of it, you know, it's it's applied. I guess the 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 decaying of of the the radioactive isotope, things of that sort. That's just one thing on my mind. But I kind of see where this is going, so that motivates me even more. You know, that's kicking my butt. So you know, I gotta study hard, and I just encourage anyone else who's a pre med, who may be taking calculus right now, who may be taking another science class who is feeling really stressed out because I know I'm not the only one. I, I'm, yeah, there's sometimes I really do feel stressed out, but I re-motivate myself. And that's enough to just, you know, keep me, keep me going for another hour or another 30 minutes of studying or just trying to, trying to really understand the concept, spending time. So, yeah, first exam, I took first, I took the first exam like what? What is it's March. Yeah, took the first exam like first week of February, first, second, third week of February, and I got an 80 on that exam. Um, I wish I could have done better. I really wish I could have done better. But like there were so much things that were conflicting me. Like I, I started school a week late, but I don't want to make excuses. Like I busted my butt to try to understand the concepts of, of limits and the derivatives and the different rules and that was what was on the test they were they were like you know finding derivatives of trig functions that was the hardest thing for me we had like mad word problems on there and i got an 80 on there i think that's a good start that's that's just gonna motivate me to just keep going and second test took the second test like last week and that one was going over min minimum and maximum values optimization problems you know for anyone who's taking calculus for anyone who's not taking calculus um i don't want to make the words sound scary they're really not like imagine if you were taking the class you would understand the concepts too you know basically you know basically you have a graph and the second, like, you have a function, you have some kind of equation that, that interprets into some kind of graph and finding the critical points, finding the points where the graph is from from the point of increase to the point of decrease and things like that. You want to know that because think about an EKG. Think about what makes an EKG go from an increasing interval to a decreasing interval. We want to know that, you know, we want to know what action potentials complement to that and things you know that that stuff is interesting so you kind of see it applied through calculus so i have no idea what i got on that test i'm waiting so i got an 80 on the first exam i don't know what i'm i don't feel too good about it because that exam had mad decimals to the max like when you're working with decimals that increases like for me that inc i feel like it increases the chance of making a mistake so Oh man, it's fun though. Um, but I'm not trying to dwell on the negativities. You know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm at this point. I want to get to this point. So I have to put in the work. So that's what I'm doing right now.
putting in the work, putting in the work, spending time studying. Yeah, and this is one of the things that it takes if you want to get into medical school, if you're a pre-med or if you're in high school. This is what it takes. You have to be, you have to be willing to be the best because anyone can do this. Anyone can take bio, anyone can take chemistry. You have to be willing to put in the work to become one of the best because getting into med school is really competitive and if you don't have the mindset of being one of the best or pushing yourself to a high point, then you're going to be like everyone else who just wants to get into med school. You, you, know, you want to be, yeah, well, you want to have the mindset of being one of the best. And once you have that mindset, that pushes you. So, man, yeah, studying. Maybe I'll make a video like about studying in general another time, because that I could I could talk about that for, or at least my, or at least how I study, or you know why you want to study hard. So, other than that, man, I just encourage you know anyone else who's watching this video, anyone else who's a pre med. Anyone else who's considering going into med school, you know, I encourage you guys to stay positive. And if you have any comments, <laughs> shoot me a comment. If you have any questions, other than that, stay tuned. I, you know, I just encourage anyone to stay positive. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. The, the struggle will definitely pay off. When you get that A, when you get that B, it will definitely pay off. So... Peace.